What's up guys? It's another beautiful day today. Another day at Bobby's Backyard Auto Works. I just got a phone call that the new build is coming. He, the transport is right down the street, so let's go check it out. All right, let's see if he's down the street here. Let's see. Is he down this way? No. Let's see if he's down this way. Ah, there he is. There she is. Right on. Sounds pretty good. All right, so you want to see the new build? There it is. Whoop. There it is again. Yeah, it's not much of a build, but let me tell you a little something about this car. Real quick, this was a vandalized car. And uh, this is not the original color. I will show you what the original color looks like. And I'll tell you why I already got it painted. So... Let me show you uh, a picture of the car right now. All right, so back to the car. Um, so when I bought it, I bought it vandalized, as you saw in the pictures. And the deal was, um, the customer was my brother. So that's who got the GS300. So I tra traded the GS300 for this. So the deal was is that I did all the labor on the GS300 and he would get the car painted for me. So that was the deal. Well, I don't blame him. It's not his fault. They did a crappy job of painting it. I thought they were going to do the door jams, everything like that. Nope, not at all. And let me show you all the flaws in it and then we'll look into the car and I'll tell you why we traded also too so first off i don't know if you can see it but there's runs like crazy let's see yeah i don't think you can see it but there's runs in the paint orange peel on the door i mean I don't know, that looks like Bondo or something, like it's cracked. Let me see if I can... There we go. Look at the run on the bumper. Another run right there. Look at the orange peel like crazy. But, see? Damn, that's the original color. So you guys let me know. I love the color. I like this color. So you guys let me know. And like I said, look at it. So I'm not gonna go for that. I can't I can't sell the car like that. I won't feel right. So what I want to know from you guys is that should I wrap this car, sand it all down, and wrap it to a close color than what it was, or a completely different color, or just paint it. I already found a paint booth, uh They'll let me use it for a hundred bucks a whole day. So I think it'd be worth it to use a paint booth this time. I am not using my house again. I'm done. Um, but let me know in the comments down below if I should wrap it. That'll be another episode and you can see my wrap skills. It's not really this that hard on this car. It is kind of, but not that hard. Um, or a whole new paint job. But if I do a paint job, I want to paint it back the original color. All right, now on to the car. All right, here's the interior. It's super clean. No rips, no nothing. I think the only thing wrong with it is that little thing right there. And I think a burn mark. But other than that, super clean. Dash clean. And best of all, it's a 2002 with less, less, less than 100,000 miles. Let's see if I can get the mileage here. Let 
There you go. 97386. Another reason why I traded, my brother didn't want to deal with the transmission. I think I know what's wrong with the transmission. It doesn't shift from first to second. I did a lot of uh, YouTubing and there's this one video and what you got to do is that you got to change a temp sensor in the transmission or something like that or the thermostat something with the temperature i'm gonna look it up uh when i go inside and check out the video but yeah this thing lights up like a christmas tree every light is on check engine light service engine soon whatever you want to call it and right there's the problem i already see it says ep that means it's not going to shift tires are low airbag light i gotta get that reset I don't know why the airbag like sometimes they they turn on because of the battery so it might go away um uh, says the hood is open oh uh, i just noticed that crack windshield gosh darn it all right well maybe i can get a used one but yeah runs good though sounds good <clears throat> like i said the interior is clean The four banger, non supercharged, non turbo, just regular. That's cool. Sounds really healthy, sounds good. AC doesn't work, I gotta check that out. But see, I love that color, that green is so nice. Fog like suck balls. I'll probably take those off or readjust them. miss nice usually that hatch doesn't work huh all right I'll check out what everything is back here huh? CD changer lug nuts seat belt stuff interior detail cleaner foil Jack. Man, I'm gonna have to clean this sucker up. Yep, with a white top. So if I do paint it, it's getting a white top again. I do not dig black tops at all. I I had a silver top on my beamer, and then I painted it black. Oh hell no! In the summertime, nope, never again. Oh wow, looks like it's got hail damage. Wow, you see that? But the tires are good. That's not. That's the front. Back. Yeah, they're not bad. Oh, what's this? Motorola, is this the airbag controller? Huh. This car's got a lot of extra parts. Here's all the paperwork. Pull part car. Yeah, I got a little bit of tools back here. Yeah, this thing needs to be cleaned out. All right, let's check out what kind of codes it's got. All right, codes come up as transmissions for the check engine light and that EP uh, on the dash also. So I cleared the codes and it says park again. See, it says park now, so that's a good thing. Still got a check engine light though. Oh no, there it goes. Went out. Oop, shoot.
All right, let's take it for a test drive. It should work. And we'll see if there's a bad, bad problem. And we'll see if it reoccurs. All right, let's see how it does. Yeah, it won't shift. That's crazy. Okay. I'm going to have to put the camera down. I'm going to shift it manually. Alright, I think that's going to end it for this video today. Um, I'll give you an update later on. The next thing I'll probably do is wash it up, clean the interior, clean everything out, and see if that's the airbag module or something, and then figure out what's wrong with the transmission. I have the two codes saved in my phone, so I'll do research on that, buy the part that I need, and go from there. Alright, that's going to end the video today. Bobby's Backyard Auto Works. See you next time. Please like, share, subscribe, and peace.